so welcome back students so today in our session we'll be learning about what is the order of preference given while like suppose you have given different different function groups like we have studied in grade 10 in grade 11 also it means basically in this chapter in grade 12 also we have different function groups what are they like uh, you have acidic function group that is carboxylic acid amines aldehydes ketones cyanides isocyanides uh, ethers alcohols e thiols like that so when such different functional groups are given what order should you follow is what is very important now so whenever there are f uh, function groups let us first see the order you need to remember this order compulsory if you just memorize this put it in your bookshelf where whenever you see okay this is the order <coughs> when multiple group function groups are given in the uh, particular nomenclature now, so whenever you have a uh, listen the first preference is given to carboxylic acids always remember when you have four or five function groups present in the particular uh, some or means not some the particular example first one to whom will you give the first order is given to carboxylic acid carboxylic acid done so what is a carboxylic acid how do you uh, what is the formula of carboxylic acid basically it is co OH. This is a carboxylic acid. That's a functional group which is present. After that, the next order is given to sulfonic acid. Next preference is given to sulfonic acid. So the formula is SO3H. Now, next order uh, means or the preference is given to carboxylic anhydride. Carboxylic anhydride. So the formula is c double bond o o c double bond o after that the next preference is given to esters in the order ester formula is c double bond o o r after ester you will be given preference to acyl chlorides acyl chlorides the formula of acyl chloride is c double bond o c l after that amides are given preference amides C double bond O N H 2. After amides, the next preference is given to cyanides. Formula is C triple bond N. After cyanides, the next preference is given uh, to aldehydes. Aldehydes. Formula is C H. Aldehydes. After aldehydes, then you will give preference to isocyanides. NC. After isocyanides, you will give preference to ketones. The formula is on either side you have alkyl groups. After ketones are given preference, you will give preference to alcohols. OH. After alcohols, you will be giving preference to thiols. SH. Next preference is for amines. That is NH2. Next, the last preference is for ethers. Ethers O R. Ketones is C double bond O. Ether is O. Right. Suppose if you have any any of the function groups, like if you have halogens or if you have uh, alkoxy groups, if I have phenyl groups. So you have to remember after all these remaining uh, <coughs> function groups like as I said, halo, fluoro, let us see. So what are the remaining functional groups which we have? Remaining functional groups. Remaining functional groups which we have is halogens. That is X. It can be fluoro, chloro, it can be bromo, it can be iodo. Right? So all these. Next, you may have some other functional groups like phenyl groups. Okay, phenyl. So phenyl formula is C6H5. You may have some other functional groups like alkyl. So alkyl, right? That is denoted by R. You, have, you may have some other functional groups like alkoxy. Alkoxy. Those are, that is OR. Right? So what are these? All these will be treated, always treated. They are always treated as substituents only. So remember, always treated as substituents 
remember that always treat it as substituents right hope don't get, forget the students so this is the order of your functional groups the first one as i said remember carboxylic acid sulfonic acid first this is one first importance least importance is ethers so carboxylic acids sulfonic acids uh, carboxylic anhydrides esters acyl chlorides amides cyanides aldehydes isocyanides keto group or ketones alcohols thiols amines and ethers so the first preference is given to carboxylic acid and the last or the least preference is given to ethers then i told you <coughs> all these groups like uh, uh, flu halogens the fluorine chlorine uh, bromine iodine phenyl groups alkyl groups alkoxy groups they're always treated as substituents don't take them as a functional groups right thank you for watching students this is a very important information i'll be starting off with my next video that is nomenclature of hydrocarbons thank you for watching stay connected stay happy always